Okay, YouTube. Today, I want to show you a cross slide rotary table <clears throat> that's set up on my Bridgeport Cologne. Back before CNC's was really popular, this was a very popular attachment for a Bridgeport mill. It's a lot different in a, in from a ro regular rotary table in that it has an XY slide basically mounted up on top of the, the rotary table part. And what this does is allows you to move your part about the center of the table instead of on um, like a regular rotary table you'd have to be fixturing stuff, you know, and it's it's not quite as easy to, to get on the on the radius point of the rotary table and that's where this thing here really shines. This was this was quite the attachment in the day. So I'm gonna kind of go through the setup a little bit with you on it on how I set it up. So what I've done, I've, I've got a vise mounted up on top of it, and I believe this is an 11 inch table, and I think it's got about 8 inches of travel, which is a pretty nice size for a, a hobbyist like myself. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm not really too concerned about where the table's positioned, you know, the, the how it's twisted or nothing else, but what I want is I want this vise running parallel to this upper slide. So whenever I crank this, this slide over, I want this vise to be running true with the, with the slide, which, which I've already set this up, so I'm just, I'm just showing you. But so, so basically that's all you do is you just indicate the vise true to this upper slide. So I've got the vise running true to the upper slide. And the next thing I want to do is I want to move in the, my X table on my mill. I want this to be running parallel with my X table, and I'm going to adjust that with the rotary part of it, so that I know that I'm when I got this on the, when I have the rotary on zero, that my my vice jaws are in parallel with my X axis. So <coughs> I'll go ahead and move the the mill table and uh, just kind of check it out here a little bit. So that's pretty good. I've already set the dial on this rotary. This is a, a break. So if I want to check my zero, I can move this, bring this back up to zero on this dial, and I should be at zero on my indicator. Being mindful of the slack. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way I've got that set up. So I've got this zero, so now I know whenever I'm, I'm on zero on my table, uh, my rotary table, that, that I'm running parallel with my X axis. Okay, the next thing I gotta do, I've got to set my machine's zero. Let me move this over here. set my X and Y machine zero on the center of this table on the, on the, on the center line of the table when it rotates so years ago I made this little block with a hole in it and I'm just going to clamp this up in the vise and uh, I'm going to adjust these slides until I get this hole to run true, much like you do like a four jaw kind of on a lathe, you know, that's basically all I'm doing. I'm gonna bring that up there like that, and we'll adjust this upper slide. So now, I'm going to just uh, turn this table. And 
and I'm going to adjust this slide until I get this hole running true with this tail. Now once I get this set, I won't have to do this all the time. This is just this is just a uh, this is just a uh, first time setup kind of thing. I have to say that I've. Uh, cheated because I've already done this. <laughs> because it's something that I struggle with pretty good. tables have a disconnect just like a regular rotary table does. So I'm going to disconnect this thing. And that allows me to, to rotate this by hand. I don't have to crank it all the time. So I'm just going to keep spinning this thing. Until I get it zeroed. So I'm getting fairly close right there. It's about seven, so about three and a half. Let's see what we got. We got about four. So make that about two. Okay, that's pretty good. So right now I've got that hole running true to the uh, to the center line tab. So I'm gonna re-engage this. We'll go ahead and crank it around there by hand just to see how it is. And it's looking pretty good. Okay, so now so now I've got this this holes running true to my rotary table, but it's not lined up with the spindle on the mill. So my next step is I need to dial up this hole on the milling machine with with using the milling machine's X and Y table. So I'm not moving none of the nothing on the cross slide. I'm going to uh, set. Set my zero on my milling machine, and this is the this is the reading or the setting that I won't change. Never, and never wanna change your readout zero, or you'll be doing all this over again. And it's not a lot of fun. <clears throat> I think that 
sets it right there, so. Okay, there. There, that's running zero. The table's running zero. The hole's running true with my table. So right now, now I'm ready to use this rotary table. I've got my machine zero, set on zero. You know, I've dialed up the hole. I've set the vice straight. So I should be good to go. So, give me just a little bit and I'll get a part set in there and I'll show you what I'm doing.